Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here with another um, vendor wax haul video. This video will focus on what I got from Ebony Violet. So this was a pre-order that she did, I think it was on Monday. So I didn't get too much, I think, because she did, I think she did like a Black Friday sale and I managed to sort of abstain from buying from that. Um, but then she did this pre-order and she included, I think, like discounted loaves and um, shot cups as well. So I couldn't resist. So I went in. I just got two loaves and then a few shots. So not, not a huge order, but yeah, um, got some really good stuff. So I have two samples. Uh, the first sample that I have is, oh, I should say Ebony Violet. I, I feel like Ebony Violet is my kind of I've been buying from Ebony Violet for a little while but I feel like I've just me and Ebony Violet have kind of melt to, met together in in the moment like in terms of just she's pouring exactly the sort of scents I want to be melting so um I have a much bigger pre-order that I placed at her New Year's Eve um pre-order that she does so that I think will ship in March and yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. So, all right, sample. So the first one is Final Girl, which is zucchini bread, apple cider donuts, and sugar cookies. Uh, this one I'll talk about um, when I do the shot cup for it, because I do have uh, a shot in it as well. But that's what it looks like. It's got a pretty gold sheen and um, black and white glitter. She has a very soft wax formula, so that's why it crumbles a bit, but I find it performs very well. It throws very strongly and... Um, you know, it doesn't really need cure time or anything. It's just, it's good to go. Um, really easy to cut, but yeah, it can get a bit messy in the bags. The other sample I have is Professor Kenzie. So named after my oldest son and blended with him in mind. Quirky, mysterious, and oddly beautiful, just like him. I've had this before. It was one of the first scents I got from Ebony Violet. Um, and it's a real chameleon of a scent. It is very, like, like it is quirky and mysterious. Sometimes it smells like it has a bit of a bakery note, but I think she's confirmed that it doesn't. And it doesn't all to me, it doesn't always smell like it has a bakery note. It does feel like it's a mix of a lot of different things. Like it's one of those things you can't really pinpoint exactly one thing because there's so much going on in there. But it, it does smell kind of like a cologne. Like a mix of lots of colognes. Like it's good, like that sounds like it wouldn't be good. It is a nice scent. I'm not like mad about it, but it is nice. All right, so I'll do the two loaves first and then I'll do the shots. So the first loaf that I got is one of my absolute favorite scents um, by the campfire. So I've had this from Ebony Violet a couple of times now. It is an oil. So I have had it as an oil from a couple of other vendors, um, including one in Australia who should be getting it um, more frequently. But it's just one of those scents that I will melt all autumn and winter long. It's amazing. So blackberry, merlot, tobacco flower, whiskey, cocoa, marshmallow, sandalwood, amber, and patchouli. One thing I will say um, is that the loaf tins are a little bit messy. I have noticed that. that I don't know if other vendors clean them up or if um, they pour clean I don't know it doesn't really bother me I tend to discard the loaf tin but just something to yeah point out um she uses very dark waxes like very vibrant kind of colors and mica too so the mica is always really gorgeous um the dyes that she tends to use can stain the warmers like I'd say ebony violet is probably the most notorious of my wax um stashes that for staining particularly the I can't remember if the dark purple does I think it does a bit but the neon pinks and stuff there's no neon pink or anything here today but um so just again again it doesn't really bother me that much but just something to know but seriously this is one of the most amazing scents I've ever smelled like it's very complex you do get like everything that's listed but it's not like I would say it's not if you're worried about patchouli or sandalwood. It's not like a, you know, hippie, earthy kind of woody scent. 
I think the Blackberry Merlot is kind of the most prominent thing. But then you do get um, like slight notes of cocoa marshmallow, like a little bit of that kind of tobacco flower, a touch of whiskey. It's just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. So um, happy to have. I've got a souffle um, of this from Ebony Violet. I melted it just the other day. And then I have, <clears throat> sorry, I have just only gotten out of bed, so my throat is croaky. Uh, and I have a bag from Rose Girls, because she has it. They smell very slightly different, but I'm pretty sure it's just the same oil in different wax formulas coming off slightly different, because they're pretty much the same. And then um, Pumpkin Parcel in Australia as well did it for me when we did our um, oil our order of oils from the US. Uh, Ebony Violet Sugared Balsams. So this is Vanilla Sugar Cookies and Vanilla Balsam Type. So I love Vanilla Balsam Type. I've had a few blends from Ebony Violet with Vanilla Balsam now. She blends it really nicely. Heard a lot of good things about this one in the group. So I thought I would get into that. So same thing, the loaf tin's a little bit dinged up. So let me just pop this out. awkwardly so that's the loaf yeah really pretty um it's pretty much just a really strong so i'm just trying to move the wax crumbles a really strong vanilla balsam but with a really delicious sugar cookie her sugar cookie is a great oil i don't know if it's a single oil or if she blends it but it's strong and it's delicious and it's not nutty and it's just all of those things that sugar cookie scents sometimes I don't like. It's not any of those. It's just, and it really holds its own in blends. Like you can still smell cookie um, with her sugar cookie oil. So I love it. So that's that one. Now everything else that I have is shot cups. So there's a couple of things in here I would have liked to have gotten a bit more of, but because I know with this order, it was kind of above and beyond what I'd budgeted for like that Black Friday weekend, so I really didn't want to go overboard. So the first scent I got two shot cups of is Touch. So this is Orange Tea and Crumpets and Creamy Zucchini Bread. So this scent I've had before. I've had both the Orange Tea and Crumpets and I've had it with blended with the Creamy Zucchini Bread. I really love it. So Orange Tea and Crumpets is super unique. Um, one thing I will say is the, I don't like these lids. Um, there's a few vendors that use them and I just, especially when they really fill up the shot cup like Ebony Violet does, um, the lids tend to crack. So I do love that she puts, she puts, um, you know, a decent description of the scent and the, um, uh, pour date even, or at least the pour month, even on shot cups. I think that's great. Um, so yeah, this just smells, so orange tea and crumpets is just, this is an incredible orange black tea scent. I don't really get crumpets from it, um, but yeah, it's just, it just smells like, yeah, citrus and peel, I think, brewed with black tea. And I actually do... I, I feel like now I do actually prefer it with the zucchini bread because the, it can actually be quite strong. It's it's a scent I don't reach for a super frequent amount because it is very intense. Um, so, yeah, so I find that I the creamy zucchini just kind of tones it down a little bit. It's still very strong on the orange tea and crumpets, but it just makes it a bit more kind of digestible, I suppose. So, um, yeah, I really like it like that. The next one that I got two shots of... Um, is you need a coat so this is boom boom tie and roasted pine cones so she's been filling them up very high because you can see that yeah the lids pressing been pressing into the wax this I I've had as well and I love I will say this one smells a lot stronger on the boom boom than the last version that I had of it did but, so roast, roasted pine cones, if you watched my Dessa's video the other day, I got roasted pine cones solo, 
and it is so lovely to me roasted pine cones it reminds me a bit of vanilla balsam but rather than being balsam it's like a pine cone scent but it's got that really lovely sweet vanilla and so i love roasted pine cones and boom boom goes really well with it although it is i feel like it's maybe a little bit too strong here this time could just be my nose this time around but last time i remember it being just like really lovely roasted pine cones with just a touch of boom boom in the background whereas this one seems to smell a lot more body care like to me so i don't know um i'll melt it i'll see it could just be where my nose is at right now um it still smells really good but yeah i just preferred it when i couldn't smell as much boom boom all right so everything else is sort of new to me and only single shots so the first thing I have is pumpkin pecan waffle type. So obviously the scent's not new to me, but I haven't had her pumpkin pecan waffles solo before. Have had it in blends and it's good. So pumpkin waffles, butter, sweet maple syrup, brown sugar, and pecans. So Liv has smooshed it. Her shot, her um, wax is really easy to get out of the shots, which is nice. Um, yeah, so it's a, she has a really good pumpkin pecan waffles. It's the version a lot of vendors have, so which is a bit more kind of syrupy. There is a version which is not doesn't isn't quite as heavy on the sort of pecan and the syrup, and that's the version I like a little bit more. But still, I I really enjoy pretty much as long as it's not the the weird pumpkin spice pumpkin pecan waffles. I you know I enjoy them all. So happy to have some of that to melt. I have Marie Laveau, so do you know this famous voodoo queen blend of Palo Santo and Egyptian musk? This is one I think of her like original scents, but I didn't try it. I don't know why I didn't try it, because I love Palo Santo, but I think I was a bit uncertain about the Egyptian musk. It is really nice though. I smell more Palo on the bottom of the shot than I do on the top. The top smells like that very kind of clean Egyptian musk. Whereas the bottom smells more woody. I do think that Palo tends to come out a lot more when you melt it. So I think it will smell more like the bottom. So um, I think that I think that will be okay. Alright, so like the sample that I didn't smell, so Final Girl, which is zucchini, bread, apple cider, donuts, and sugar cookies. Check out how she decorated this one. It looks so cool with the red like vibrant red and then black and white glitter and silver it just looks awesome so that's really cool oh, dog and this smells amazing this has to be one of the best apple cider donuts since i've ever smelled it's actually not super strong on the apple cider donuts that might be why i like it um I feel like it's really well blended with a mix of just different bakery notes. It's absolutely delicious. Um, if that melts well, I'm going to need more of that for sure. Because I like apple cider donut. Um, but it does tend to be something that I feel like I can only melt like when it's really cold. But that one, because it's a really nice mix of bakery, feels like I could melt that one all year round. So... And the last scent that I got was the Red Room. So black sugar type, cashmere cedar and vanilla lace type. So I love black sugar type. It's um, it's a very kind of deep, sexy sort of scent. It's got like, um, I can't remember. I know it's got raspberry, but it's, I think it may be oud wood. And so yeah, it's very deep. I've heard some people describe it as smelling like motor oil and it doesn't smell like motor oil to me, but I can kind of see how it would. It almost has a leather like quality. Um, but yeah, I love it. So yeah, also decorated really nicely. I mean, the lid indents kind of ruin the effect a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Um, and this smells fantastic as well so i do think black sugar kind of i really enjoy it but it does sort of lean a little bit deep and heavy and maybe a little bit sort of overwhelming 
So blending it with cashmere cedar and vanilla lace is like genius because so vanilla lace is, you know, soft, girly, sweet, perfumey. It can be a little bit sickly for me. So I feel like the black sugar and the vanilla lace are <clears throat> balancing each other really well out here. Um, you know, the black sugar is stopping the vanilla lace from being too sickly, which sometimes it can be for me. The vanilla lace is stopping the black sugar from being too, you know, deep and dark. And the cashmere cedar just adds a really beautiful kind of, I always say juicy when I talk about cashmere cedar, and I feel like it's not the right word, but I also don't know how else to describe it. Like, is is just, yeah, when I, I, I always say that it makes me think of tree sap and that. I just can't get that description out of my head with cashmere cedar. So I'm going to stick with it. But um, yeah, there's just this really interesting quality to cashmere cedar, which, um, you know, you can definitely smell in here as well. So this is amazing too. Again, and it should throw well because pretty much ebony violet I've had, I don't think I've ever had issues with throw with ebony violet. So um, I definitely think this is going to be a repurchase, um, hopefully in her next pre-order. Um, so yeah, so I've got, so I'm really happy with what I've got here. Um, I definitely think that Final Girl and the Red Room are going to be repurchases for me. Um, By the Campfire is an absolute staple. Um, Orange Tea and Crumpets, and I mean, Touch is probably what I'm good for for a little while. And I'll see how that, um, You Need a Coat blend goes, but it does smell a little bit stronger on the Boom Boom than the previous version was. So I, I don't know about that one. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is everything that was in my forwarder box. So happy to sort of get everything put away, get this box out of my office. Um, hopefully you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.